What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the Kaniwaba pedal kit on the Suron X. Before we get started, if you guys do want to support the channel, please check out all those e-bike discount links down below. I did get the pedal kit for the Suron just because in the state of Delaware, it is illegal to ride an e-bike without pedals on there. So with pegs, you're not supposed to be on the streets. So we're going to stick this pedal kit on there and then we should be street legal as long as we keep it 20 and under. All right, guys, let's get started on the install of the Kaniwaba pedal kit. I think that's how they say it. So first we're gonna remove this bracket right here on both sides, so we have two of these. You wanna get your six millimeter Allen key. So I think there is Loctite in there, so you might have to get in there and really give it some muscle. All right, just move the peg out of the way. Oh my goodness, those are on there, holy crap. Luckily it's only two bolts on there. Okay, one there. So this is a sensor for the kickstand when it's down. All right, so we got that off. So now I guess I gotta be careful not to lose this stuff. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side under here. The next step is I'm gonna remove the other side also. Actually, let me start off by getting the kickstand off of here. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty Pretty hard or pretty easy? I don't know. Let's see how, how this happens. There we go. All right, now we got that spring off. That was definitely the hardest part of this whole ordeal so far. So yeah, next we're gonna get this kickstand off of here. Half inch socket. Oh, that was easy to come off. I'm just getting the kickstand so we can transfer it over. All right, got that off. All right. So the next step is I'm gonna remove the other side. We're gonna do the same thing by removing the same two bolts and this side doesn't have a kickstand so it's gonna be a little bit easier. Man, that Loctite is serious stuff. <laughs> so now we're gonna bring this stuff over on this side and we're gonna kinda build the pedal kit. The one thing I did forget was to remove this little pin, so I'm gonna remove that now. That's actually pretty loose. Oh yeah, I think it goes right there. So we're gonna get that pin in there tightened up. All right, that's in there. All right, so now we're gonna pick up the kickstand and slide it into the side right here. So this is the inside. Get this bolt, make sure everything's lined up. All right, that's in there. Now, we get our little bolt in the back on there. Back to the half inch socket. Then we're gonna give that a little tighten. There we go. Now that that's on there, next we're gonna get this spring back on. All right, since I can't do it, we're gonna get turn one to do it. He's got more muscle than Shreddy. There we go! Yee! Turn one, you're the freaking man. Thank you, brother, thank you. That is on there. Okay, so now that's done. This is marked with the right side, so you put the left side in first. Just like that. And then we're gonna loosen up these two little collars here. So we're gonna loosen up these, just like that. So now you can move them back and forth. All right, so now let me get the right side in. I guess not all the way because we're going to make it so it's even. Now that we got everything kind of set up, we're going to install the kit onto the bike. So let's start with the top bolt first. I'm just going to get everything on, just finger tight. And then we'll get the second bolt on there. All right. I'll go on the other side and do the same thing. Same thing on this side. I'm going to start with the top. Guys, you don't know how excited I am to get on this thing and just start riding. Ah, this process. I still gotta get the new seat on and then the new bash guard, but I think I'm gonna save that for Mod Mondays to hang out with you guys and do this. All right, guys, the one thing I did forget to add was some blue Loctite. Just get a little bit on there. That's a lot of bit, but that's fine. The same thing on top. There you go. I know it's a lot of Loctite, but it is what it is. 
All right, guys, I'm just gonna add Loctite on this side, which I forgot to do, so I'm just gonna do that really quick, and then we're gonna tighten everything down, and then we'll torque it all down the spec. So now I'm just gonna tighten everything down, not all the way, and then we'll torque it down afterwards. One side down. All right, I'm not going all the way tight with it because I'm gonna torque it down next. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna get my torque wrench out. It's set to 24.4 Newton meters. I can't set this one to exactly 25. Make sure it's set to tighten. So we're gonna set these and torque them down. Make sure it's in there. There it is, that's one. Make sure it's all the way in there because you don't want to strip it out. That's two. I'm so excited. And last one, guys. That's it. Boom. I am so freaking stoked. We're getting closer and closer, guys. All right, you see this right here, guys, down here? So I gotta make sure these are the same length on each side. So the right side's a little bit longer than the left. So I'm just gonna tap it with this. You can use a hammer. I don't have a hammer right now. That looks about right. That looks perfect. So the next thing is we're gonna put on the left side crank. So make sure you grab the right one, the left side, not the right side. So get that on there, grab your washer. I got a 14 millimeter socket here. All right guys, before I put that nut on there, put a little bit of blue Loctite on there. So we got the pedal on there, we got the washer in there. Now we're gonna get this nut on there with some blue Loctite. Remember it's reverse threaded. And we got our 14 millimeter. Oops, going the wrong way. All right, that's on there pretty tight. Next is we're going to grab the left pedal. Make sure that sticker isn't on there. This is reverse threaded too, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so we got the pedal on. So now we're gonna get behind it with the six millimeter Allen key. And we'll just tighten it up the rest of the way. Oh, these are sharp. There we go. That's one side. So now let's hop over to the other side and get those pedals on. All right, guys. So now we're going to do the right side. So pretty much everything we did on the left side, we're going to do on the right side. Pedal on. Oh, it's got to be on the opposite side. Make sure the pedals. There we go. That's perfect. I almost had them the face in the right the same way. <laughs> I would have been pedaling like this, <laughs> like a goofball. We're gonna install the washer. A Little bit of Loctite in here, goes a long way. So this side isn't reverse threaded. All right guys, so again, this side is actually righty tighty lefty loosey. That's all in there, that's all in there. All right, is this reverse? Yep, nope. Is it? Nope. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right, now we're gonna get in there with the Allen key. <sighs> Make sure it's on there good. I think we're good, guys. I think we're freaking good. Oh my goodness. So the battery is still charging. Once I get that charged up, we're gonna, we're gonna do a ride next. So stay tuned. After this video, we're gonna do a first ride, review initial impressions and everything on this. I'm so excited to have this. I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far on the Sauron. Please don't forget to drop a like. There's one more thing I did forget is these little, I don't even know what do you call these little circle things underneath. Make sure you push them up flush against the inside on both sides and then you tighten them down. All right, so that one's tight. Now the other collar, I just gotta tighten it up and then we're gonna be ready to roll. All right, now that's tightened up. And then with the sensor, I don't know what I should do with this thing, guys. 
I'm gonna have to zip tie that somewhere. All right, guys, now that the pedal kit is complete, I am going to be riding this bike pretty soon. We're gonna do first ride and review for you guys. I'm so stoked to ride this freaking monster and actually hook it up, tune it up with the new controller, the new battery. So yeah, now we're, we're legal, guys. Check it out. The Kani Waba pedal kit is fully installed. We can ride around Delaware now. If you guys enjoyed that video and you found it helpful, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right guys, I'll see you in the next mod.